Higgs, take a look at this. My scans indicate that this is a high-risk area, mainly on account of it being a Tyrannosaur's nest. Oh my! Stay back, Robin. She's cute. That is a vicious predator. I know what you're thinking. No pets. I think I'll call her... Riker. Morning, Robin. I'm so glad you're awake. I've been rather bored without you. You know what I'm like. I start to get a little existential when I don't have someone to care for. This is pod 3091659, broadcasting on all frequencies. If there are any other survivors out there, let me know. Higgs is getting pretty lonely. I know there's never been a response in over a year, but you really should take this seriously. How long have we been on this planet now? 385 days. Still standing, even after a year. Can you believe we used to live on that ship? Hurtling through the stars at 67 million miles per hour, until... She was a magnificent ship, wasn't she? Other people must have got off as well. How long until we find them, Higgs? You've done extremely well to survive this long. Others might not be so resourceful. Like her? That beast is up in its hole, hiding from shame, I'd imagine. I'm afraid we have some work to do before you can play with your pet. Best you take a look around. Ah, the wicks. Yes, our power problem is affecting this, too. We won't be able to fix much if we can't lift heavy objects. Power generation is not optimal. The water turbine has a fault. This way! The 
water turbine needs clearing. Off we go. help you with that. Good to feel useful. The power should be flowing perfectly now. The wicks will be back online. Oh, there it is. Get it to drop that ball before it destroys the thing. It's not like we can buy another one. Come on, Laika. Don't worry about Higgs. I just gotta work on your training so that he doesn't blow a fuse. Give. Now, big test. Can it remember how to play hide and seek? Head over to the tree there and start the game. Off we go. Hide and seek starts at the tree. Simple creature, simple rules. Laika, wanna play hide and seek? Come. Now you can start the hide and seek game. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. Warmer. Yes, warmer. What has it got there? That is a Higgs unit. Get your pet away from him before some serious damage is done. There's precious data in there. We should scan it immediately, Robin. You'll have to put your pet on a leash. I could be next. What do you think would happen if one day it got me in its jaws? Ugh. No, I don't even want to think about it. This is a colony unit sent ahead of the Esmeralda to lay the foundations of our society, a piece of your history. Esmeralda Command. Hello? This is Colony Higgs 11886 from the autonomous Go Ahead probe. I am pleased to report we have successfully reached Tyson 3. Atmospheric entry of all agricultural capsules is currently in progress. As we still haven't been in communication with you for years, we immediately initiated our own landing protocols. I think the fault is on our end, though. Something happened to us in deep space. Hello, Command. It's Colony Higgs 11886 again. As I still haven't heard from you, 
I just wanted you to know we have begun to build some basic structures. Although there aren't any humans here to live in them yet, obviously. It's not going as well as we'd hoped. There's wildlife. It's not exactly safe on the surface, but at least the atmosphere is breathable. Command? Hello? You are coming to Tyson 3, correct? I don't know how long we've been here. My clocks stopped functioning. I'd send you another image of the surface, but my camera's out of commission too. Those pattern B tube apartments you've got coming will be nice, won't they? Entertainment systems, rainforest showers, barbecues, shiny and dry Higgs docks, spare parts, and please come. We're waiting for you. These guys built a whole landing site. If our crew were out there, that's where they'd start the colony. These Hicks units can tell us where they are. There must be more. Let's find them. I see. Well, the data here suggests there are three more nearby. Come along. Send it to the gate here. These animals are causing the gate to lock. Go, go! Go now! Good! Now have it bark at them. Roar! Roar! That's it! I don't like scaring the poor things, but your friend would have probably eaten them otherwise. Thanks for all your help today, Robin. I know maintaining your home isn't always what you want to do, but it's vital to your survival. And you know that's what I care most about. I would like to check on the farm this morning. I stopped receiving a signal from the Grobot sometime last night. We don't want to run out of food. <coughs> the farm would be in much better condition if those confounded pterosaurs hadn't started roosting on the cliffside, mischievous pests. This. It's already learned that the Grobot is a source of food. You know, sometimes I worry it is wastefully stupid. Other times I worry it is dangerously clever. The Grobot is offline. That's why there's no signal. Your well-being is dependent on having a reliable source of food. Getting this online again is a priority. I have my suspicions about who's responsible. We've got one of those hitch units. Those birds will steal anything. Robin, you must save him. Where's that pterosaur going? Look at this. The wind turbine has been savaged. The blades are everywhere. I'm telling you, Robin, those pterosaurs will rue the day.
blade detached. Good work. Power is restored. Your role on board the Esmeralda could easily have been in construction. Now, don't waste all that food getting that creature to perform party tricks. Destroy the nest, Robin. You won't seriously harm them, but you will send them a message. They're cunning. Unsophisticated, but cunning nonetheless. Roar! Roar! Again, do it again, raw! Oh, oh, I enjoyed that. I confronted crew member Lawrence Command. He's being pig-headed. I'm in pursuit, tailing him through Columbus. Put it on record that he's insubordinate. He shouted, screw the mission. He expressed dissatisfaction that he would never make it to Tyson III and was not permitted children. So why should he have to suffer to the benefit of others? He says he plans to enjoy life now and, I quote, to hell with Tyson III. Command, Lawrence is now calling every tube apartment he passes just to force its Higgs unit to answer. This obviously interrupts their life-sustaining work. Command, 
I followed Lawrence back to Magellan. I must say I don't much like it here. The people look at me like I am prey. I can imagine them tearing me apart to find something valuable they could trade for food. I could almost imagine them trying to eat me. They do look hungry. I wish we could make an arrest, but you are right. We can't risk civil disorder. We don't want to make this Lawrence fellow a martyr.